Namaste you gorgeous people welcome to my channel I am here again with a curl hair routine video but this one is different because it's about my long curly hair how do i manage it how i wash it how i style it all about it this one is different because i haven't made one since i've grew my hair this long i do have shorts and reels of course but those are you know very fast paced very very quick and short so this one is very detailed one before starting let me tell you about my scalp and my hair type now i have normal scalp but with a lot of dandruff clinically also known as seborrheic dermatitis and my hair is very dry and very frizzy the natural curl pattern is somewhat 3a 3b and these are the steps that i'm going to follow and this routine can be followed by anyone with wavy hair or curly hair so this is the condition of my curly hair before washing that's because my last wash day was some 4 5 days back and since then i have not done anything to my hair it's so frizzy so dry super tangled so unmanaged and you know this could have been a little better if i had used some stylers on my curly hair on the previous wash day but i didn't i rinsed off the conditioner and i just let my hair dry like that so if you have curly hair like mine this is why using stylers like leave in conditioner cream gel this is so important so that this condition does not happen after 4 5 days it's slightly manageable but not like this so let me now start the wash day and make this curly hair better as well and the results will be at the last of the video so keep on watching till the end now first step as always will be detangling i like to use my hands some water and conditioner for detangling my hair before shampoo now why i detangle my hair before shampoo because i have long curly hair and curly hair in general tangles a lot and long hair tangles even more So shampooing on such tangled curly hair is not at all a good idea. That is why I prefer to detangle before shampoo with conditioner and water in my hands like I told you and this way there will be less breakage, less hair fall, the shampoo required will be also less and the whole process will be really easy. You have to try this method if your hair is super tangly like mine. So first I'm going to wet my hair with this spray bottle. I am outside char so I'm using a spray bottle. You can just simply wet your hair with tap or whatever. <laughs> but make sure your hair is saturated with water like properly saturated my hair is all completely soaked in water i have not detangled even a bit now i'm going to go in with a slippery conditioner i'm going to use sugar boost conditioner this is one of the most slippery and nicest conditioner i have used and i have also included this in the best 5 conditioners that i have used i recently made a video on it and all the products that i'm going to use in this video throughout i'm going to list all the links in the description box below taking some conditioner Right now I am just spreading the conditioner on my hair. I am still not detangling. Now it's been 30 seconds or so. I am going to detangle now, starting from bottom, not here, but always from bottom, moving upwards, like this. And wherever I feel that it's still tangled and not so slippery, I add some conditioner and water. see how easily the tangles are melting this is what i was talking about i'm properly detangling after 4 5 days so i'll lose quite some hair and that's completely okay now i'm detangling second half of my hair exactly same way First step is done and my hair is absolutely tangle free it was this easy conditioner water detangle and all tangles are gone try it you will love it i have now completely rinsed off the conditioner and my hair feels very soft and tangle free now it's time to shampoo i'm going to use two shampoos one for scalp and one for the hair length the shampoo is from plum it's tea tree dandruff control shampoo and i love this shampoo i have used so many bottles of the shampoo first of all it works great for my seborrheic dermatitis my dandruff and it's also affordable Now this shampoo is great for dandruff it's great for oily scalp for clearing off the build up but it's also slightly strong shampoo so i cannot use it on my dry length and for my length i'm going to use a gentle conditioning shampoo now the scalp shampoo is done i'm going to leave it there for about 1 minute meanwhile i'll shampoo my hair with this dove beautiful curl shampoo it's very soft very conditioning very gentle frothy shampoo i love this one as well A lot of people say that shampoo is just for scalp and not for the hair length but I won't agree with this. We use oil on our hair length, stylers, there's pollution, dust, so much is there. What is going to wash off all that? It's the shampoo. Step number 2 shampoo is all done. My scalp and hair is feeling very clean and my scalp is not feeling itchy anymore so that's nice. Now it's time for step number 3 that is the conditioning step. 
Now at this step, I either use a conditioner or a deep conditioning hair mask. Which one to use? I usually use conditioner most of the time I use conditioner but when I want extra softness, extra repairing then I use a hair mask. But I don't use both at the same time one after the other neither do I recommend that. And today I'm going to use this Bond Restore mask from Plum and if you want a whole dedicated review video on this Bond Restore range from Plum let me know in the comments. Taking a generous serving because long hair. Whatever you use conditioner or deep conditioning mask, make sure you spread it very properly on your hair throughout the hair and use some extra on the lens. See at every step some hair will come out and that's completely okay. A lot of people get terrified seeing all that hair come out. It's completely okay. It's normal. It's supposed to happen. After applying the mask, I'm going to wait for 5 to 10 minutes and then rinse it off completely. Three steps are done. Cleaning, conditioning, detangling, everything's done. And these are the steps that everyone does, be it curly, wavy or straight hair everyone does it but the next two steps are very important transforming steps for wavy and curly hair these are the steps that are going to transform frizzy dry looking hair into beautiful looking curly hair beautiful looking wavy hair so these are not negotiable cannot be skipped now before applying the leave-in cream which is the fourth step i'm going to first comb my hair a little bit you must have noticed that I didn't use any brush or comb at any time but now I'm going to do because I want to remove all the tiny fine tangles. This brush will do that. It's a very very nice brush. It's very gentle on here, removes all the tangles. I love it. There weren't any major tangles but just wanted to remove the fine ones. I'm going to partition my hair. I have a lot of hair density and length. I have a lot of them so I'm going to put in three sections. I'll show you how I do it and then I'll style it section by section. This way all parts of my hair, all sections of my hair gets equal attention and they equally look beautiful. I keep on losing hair every time I style, wash, style, I do whatever I do, I keep on losing hair and that's completely normal that like I said earlier. These are the three sections, one, two and three. For leave-in step, I'm using leave-in cream by Curlvana. It's a very nice leave-in conditioner. It's light, it's moisturizing, perfect for this monsoon, hot, humid kind of weather. Right now, I'm just spreading the leave-in conditioner on my hair. I'm not doing anything, and no rocket science, just spreading it throughout very uniformly. And I'll spend some good two minutes in doing that. As I'm doing this, my hair is already starting to get dry and that's why it's looking so frizzy. So I'm going to put in some water as well. This is my ride or die spray bottle. It's so old, it works so fabulously. You should get one spray bottle for sure. It's really helpful in uh, styling process. Now it's time for the fifth step that is the hair gel. This is Ash Bar's gel and it's curl favorite. It's loved by everyone. I love it. It gives a very nice hold in humidity as well. The only thing about this gel is I have to use a lot. For good hold, I have to use a lot. And since it's now humid and it's monsoon, so taking a generous amount. Spreading it all through my hair exactly like the leave-in conditioner. All the application part is done, leave-in conditioner gel, everything has been applied. Now I'm going to make clumps on my curly hair. This is what makes hair look beautiful and defined what we say. Right now you can see. It's a bit of frizzy, bit of defined. What I'm going to do is break all these clumps and make them all over again. I'll show you how. It's a very easy process. Just need some water. I'll just tightly glide my fingers through my hair like that. Look at that. I'll take small, small sections and keep on doing that for this half, then this half, then the third section. Right now I cannot see myself, usually I do it in front of mirror so that I can see all of my hair. It's very easy that way. Right now I'm just guessing which part is not done, which is done. I'm 
made some beautiful clumps with just my hands. The process is called raking in. Look at this. No brush, nothing. I'm just going to keep it away from my face. I'm going to do exactly the same on this part as well. Everything's done now, just have to wait for some time under a full speed ceiling fan. That's how I dry my hair and I put up all these clips so that the wet hair stays away from my face. And this is how it looks from the back. I'm not going to touch it or comb it or rinse off my hair. I'm not supposed to rinse off the style otherwise how will they work, right? Hi, I'm back and my hair is completely dried. It might be still looking wet but it's not. It's completely dry and it's also stiff so you can notice how how crunchy and stiff and wet it's looking and the volume is also not there but that's fine that's supposed to happen the styling products are supposed to leave our hair slightly crunchy and gel does it even more but there's a solution to that as well i'm just going to scrunch my hair or smoothen my hair to remove this crunchy stiff feeling it's called a cast c-a-s-t cast so for that you can just use your dry hands or you can also use a satin scarf i am using a satin a pair of satin gloves actually this is one of the best accessories i own i absolutely love it i never go anywhere without it and my wash day isn't complete without them so just simply i'll do like this you can also scrunch your hair like this but very gently i also like to clap like that did you notice the, that shiny oily kind of feel is gone and it's now looking fluffier I'll just shake the roots and it's all done my hair is all dry, it's very moisturized, it feels very soft, the clumps are so well defined. Do you want to see it from the back? So these are my day two results, that is the results next day. I really wanted to show you how it looks the next day. It's looking slightly different from yesterday. That's because there's obviously a little bit of moisture loss and the weather is very humid right now, but still it's looking great to me. What do you think? Now tomorrow day after it might look frizzier and frizzier, but still it will look great. And that's completely okay. Humidity, there's pollution, dust, dryness, there's so many things, but still it will look great, trust me. Now let me give you some tips and tricks to keep your curls in shape. Firstly, do not brush or comb your hair. Combs and brushes are not best friends for curly and wavy hair. So don't dry brush them or dry detangle them on daily basis. Please never do that. Secondly, if you are tying your hair, if you want to make hairstyle or anything, just go ahead, make whatever you want to do. But remember that once you open your hair after making that hairstyle, it will not look the same. So you have to expect that loss of definition. And if I'm going out, I usually leave my hair open just like this. I just like it that way or if I want to tie it I make some loose hairstyles like maybe tie it loosely like this no tight hairstyles no bun unless my hair is looking very messy if my curls are looking very messy and I want them to pop I just refresh it with a little bit of water and a little bit of styling product and it's all good third and most importantly when you are sleeping do not use a cotton pillow cover that makes hair very dry frizzy tangled it just messes up curls a lot use satin or silk instead I love using satin and this is my satin pillow cover I I love using it I have a lot of them never ever ever sleep on cotton pillow cover and if possible wear a satin bonnet as well this is also something I never skip I love my satin bonnets it's a very nice soft silky satiny cap on my hair that protects my curls throughout the day 
so I don't do much on daily basis, just mostly on wash day. I have told you my whole curly hair routine, what I do on the wash day and next day and day after. So all my secrets are revealed. Now you have to try it. If you have frizzy hair that's naturally curly or wavy, do try this routine at least three, four times. And if you still face any problem, let me know in the comments. I'll try my best to give you the solution. If you have washed till here and still not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and the like button. Share it with your friends. I'm sure I'm going to give you the best, most useful videos. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.